Hello, this is TurbiVap, the Steam Turbine channel, and in today's video I'm going to talk about 10 basic differences between condensing and back pressure steam turbines. So, so if you're interested in steam turbines and want to receive notifications of new content like this, take the opportunity now to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be right back. So come on, let's get to the content that matters. Here are 10 basic differences between the two most common types of steam turbines. So the first difference refers to the selection of turbines. The condensing turbine is most suitable when the steam demand for the process drivers is greater than the available steam requirements. Difference 2. Steam Availability The condensing turbine is selected when high pressure steam is not available, while the back pressure turbines are selected when there are multiple levels of steam required for the process. Just a quick break, in case you haven't watched the video about the types of steam turbines, I'll leave the card up here, go back there, give it a watch so you can remember some subjects there, okay? Coming back here to the third difference, about the method of controlling the turbines, it is easier to control a condensing turbine than a back pressure one. Condensing requires less changes in live steam for different steam loads. Fourth difference regarding steam consumption. For the same operational load, the condensing turbine requires less steam than the back pressure turbine, because the enthalpy drop is greater than that of the back pressure. That is, it is possible to extract more energy in the same amount of steam. So if you haven't seen the video about enthalpy, I'll leave the card here now too. Go back there, watch it, check it out there on the subject. Fifth difference, cost of capital. In general, the cost of condensing turbine is higher than that of back pressure turbine. In addition to being larger turbines, they also contain more auxiliary systems, such as condenser, pump, extraction, and other equipment. Sixth difference regarding the environmental aspect. As well as the cost of capital, we can say that the condensing turbine is less ecological if we think about its physical size, which is larger, in addition to having more auxiliary equipment than the back pressure. Seventh difference regarding the risk of vibrations and resonance. The condensing turbine contains larger pallets compared to the back pressure turbine for the same working capacity. For this reason, the risk of vibration is greater than in the back pressure turbine. Highlight here. Condensing turbines are larger than back pressure turbines precisely because they take advantage of the entire enthalpy drop of steam throughout the cycle. So we extract all the energy. The expansion is much greater in a condensing turbine. Eighth difference regarding operating cost. Because it has more auxiliary equipment, the operating cost of the condensing turbine in general is also higher than that of the back pressure turbine. Ninth difference, the quality of the feed water in the boilers. In the condensing tribunes, the supply water must be controlled and greater rigor in quality control is required as the possibility of deposition of organic matter on the low-pressure pallets is very high. So feed water is needed for the boiler with higher quality than the back pressure one. Tenth and last difference. As for the corrosion of the pallets, the possibility of blade corrosion is higher in condensing turbines. So, this is because the formation of water droplets already occurs in the low-pressure region at the turbine discharge. So those were the 10 basic differences between condensing and back pressure steam turbines. And if you're interested in continuing to receive and watching new videos about steam turbines like this one, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hog and see you next time!